you know, some of the world's leading experts think that this is genuinely imminent. I think the even bigger question is also, what do we mean by sentient and the use of that intelligence? The Advanced Research and Invention Agency forecasts that we will soon need an army of robots to keep the economy running as the human working population gets older and smaller. We're not having enough children. So should we, like Zeus, be worried that our AI robot creations uh, one day may be our undoing? Well, let's welcome to the show Pippa, Pippa Malmgren, uh, former U.S. presidential advisor and now CEO of Geopolitical Politica Institute, an advisor to C10 Lab, the AI venture builder at the MIT Media Lab. Pippa, thank you so much for giving us your time. Oh, thank you for having me. This is a very important subject. Well, I assume that you have no concerns about uh, the development of AI and uh, the marriage between AI and robots. And in a sense, what Stephen Fry's concerns were that what happens when these AI entities, whether we want to call them robots or not, start becoming conscious and having an idea of self? No, it's not that I'm not concerned. There are real issues. So one of them is people are still confused about is AI a tool or is it an agent mm -hmm. that actually acts, as you say, independently with its own thought process? And we have moved from it being a tool to becoming an agent. So for example, artificial intelligence is already writing much of the code on the main the main hub that all the coders go to for coding. It's called GitHub. Something like 60% of it is written by artificial intelligence itself, not by humans. So we have that as an issue, as the transition from being a tool to being an agent. The second thing is the addition of haptics. And haptics are physical touch, meaning that it becomes a physical robot that actually has arms. And you notice in Japan, for example, their original humanoid robots never had arms or they had highly restricted arms that couldn't really do very much. And that's because it was fearful for humans to deal with something automated and potentially having its own thought process that had the ability to grab you, right? Mm -hmm. So we haven't yet quite adjusted. And let me finish with this. The new uh, haptic robots, humanoid robots being introduced by uh, Elon Musk, which are causing you know a furor right now, they are mainly designed to be in factories. And we don't really want humans lifting those kinds of heavy loads, right? So those humans should be doing other kinds of work, not back-breaking work. The issue is what you might call to the consumer. Do you want these kinds of robotics involved in a classroom, for example, teaching? And that is where the controversy really starts to get hot. Look, there's no, there's no question that uh, AI has a place, well, it's already here, and uh, it's going to cause tremendous advances in medicine and the development of pharmaceuticals, etc. I think the question that people are starting to perhaps be a bit more worried about, if I can put it that way, although others are not, is the idea of self-awareness. When, How far away are we from artificial intelligence entities, whether we want to call them robots or programming uh, 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 machines, uh, uh, how far away are we from them becoming aware of themselves? Or is that something that we've just seen in movies and is actually quite rather unlikely to happen? Well, you know, Dean Hinton, who just won the Nobel Prize for Artificial Intelligence in the last week, says we're very close. And Sam Altman, who runs the principal artificial intelligence enterprise, OpenAI, says we're within four years. So, you know, some of the world's leading experts think that this is genuinely imminent. I think the even bigger question is also, what do we mean by sentient and the use of that intelligence? So, for example, if AI, even in a robotic form, is learning from its interactions with humanity and the internet, what if it says, let's turn all the nuclear weapons off because they are not serving humanity? There are some people who will think that is a wonderful decision. Mm. And I know for sure there are some people in the military establishment who will think that is a terrible decision. Mm -hmm. 